Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina. Today's video on how to, I want to show you how to do splits and um, how actually to get into the splits easily. I highly recommend you warm up really well before attempt any deep stretches. I will show you a couple of stretches, um, one of my favorites. And for today's tutorial, I highly recommend using blocks. If you don't have blocks, um, you can use books. So let's not waste any time. Let's go straight to the tutorial. In kneeling position, extend the right leg in front of you. Flex your foot, point your toes in and send them forward. One more time, point the toes in towards you. Feel the stretch, whole back of your right leg, the right hamstring, the back of the cuff and point them forward. One more time, back and forward. Next step here is come up, move your back knee back away from you as you extend your right foot even further. So that stretch might be really deep for you. You can use your blocks and stay here. You can come up here. If you are okay with the sensation and you can breathe easily because the point is here, to not jump into your um, joints or your connective tissue. You want everything to happen naturally. You want your whole, your body to open naturally. So whatever you are, use your breath as a guidance. If you can stay here and you can breathe normally, that means that you should stay here. If you can stay here and you're barely holding your breath, that means that you have to back off, take your blocks, and stay here. Okay. So we're gonna change the legs now. Come back down, come up, send the left foot forward and sit back. Point your toes and point them forward. Point the toes back, breathe into the back of the left leg, the left hamstring, the back of the cuff. Point your toes forward one more time and point the toes forward next step is to come a little bit higher send your back knee back as you extend the left leg forward again point your toes this should be really deeper stretch if it's not deeper that means that you have to send the heel forward or send the back foot back a little bit Whatever you are, you might want to use your blocks. And with the help of your breath, see if you can help your muscles to relax and go a little bit deeper into your stretch. And I want you to practice this until you feel good enough to stay maybe here before you attempt splits. Okay, step two is to place the right foot forward, extend your left leg back as much as you can, and now we're going to place left hand down, turn around and grab a hold of your left foot with your right hand, pull your knee in, allow your hips to descend, and feel the stretch into your left hip, front hip. Good, release that. And we're gonna change legs. Left foot forward, right leg back. Okay, you might just, you might wanna stay here. Just breathe into the stretch at the front of the right hip. Feel the stretch in the back of your left hamstring. Next step, right hand down, left arm. Grab a hold of your right foot. Pull the heel in. Allow your hips to sink down. And just breathe. And 
one more breath. Release that. Bring your feet to touch. So basically when we, when we go for a split, what we need to have is really open front of the hips and the back of the thighs, the back of your hamstring should be really open too. You can't just go into a split and have those not warmed up or not open enough. It's not gonna happen. Next step. See if you can, see how far you can open your legs and maybe place your blocks underneath your hip and stay here. Lift yourself up, keep flexing your front foot, keep engaging your right quad. Okay, if this is enough for you, you might want to remove one of the blocks. See if you can sit on the other block. See how that feels. Give your body some time. Breathe. Good job. Wiggle your back foot in a little bit to safely get out of the pose. And we're gonna do the other side. Again, starting with extending the left foot forward as much as we can. Take a couple of breaths here. Take your blocks and slide them underneath your left hip and see if you can sit on your blocks. Flex your left foot. hands down, remove one of the blocks and see if you can, if your hips can go a little bit lower. Okay, so far so good. Use your breath as a guidance. Move the block away, safely get out of the pose, and bring your knees to touch. Come to sit back on your heels, and you can gently massage the tops of the thighs with the heel of your hand. last step is to attempt a full split. I don't recommend that if you're not okay sitting on the blocks. That last step should be only when you are comfortable sitting on the blocks in a split. If you have that, extend the right leg back, I'm sorry, left leg back, send the right leg in front of you and see how far down your hips can go. You might want to put a little bit of cushion underneath here. If you cannot reach the floor, you can use your hands as a support and breathe into your hamstring and front left hip. Right hamstring and front left hip. Keep flexing your right foot. and don't force your body. Be gentle and patient with yourself. Good, slowly get out of the pose. Use your hands to safely exit the pose. Left side, extend the left leg forward, 
right leg back and sink your hips down and one side might be more open than the other that's normal again don't force yourself I like rocking from side to side sometimes, breathing, listening to my body. And release. Safely get out of the pose. I hope that you like that tutorial. Let me know with any questions, comments. I would love to hear from you.